I am here, but at present, there are no live viewers. Ah, a live viewer, my first. Welcome. Welcome to the Real Japan at 10 to 1 in the morning. Greetings, friend. Where are you watching from? Let me know. Maria, thanks for joining. Let me know where you're watching from. Welcome if this is your first Periscope from the real Japan. My name is Rob and I'm the founder of the travel blog, therealjapan.com. I've just been out and had a very good evening in Sakai, which is a suburb of Osaka, uh, meeting some old friend and new. We... Uh, we were actually doing a photo shoot for Airbnb, uh, one of their experiences, a live house experience, uh, which means going to a gig, basically. And um, yeah, it was a really good evening. Had a few beers, had a really good meal, had a, uh, went to a live house, caught a band, in fact, I actually bought a T-shirt from a band who I didn't see, so I don't know what their music's like. I didn't hear it, um, but I really like the T-shirt. So uh, I bought the T-shirt, basically. I went to the live house, and I bought the T-shirt. I went to the gig, and I bought the T-shirt. Ah, so, um, yeah, it's just a late-night walk back, and as long as my Wi-Fi holds out, I thought I'd do a live scope. And see who watches. Um, hashtag Sal's message alert. My name's Rob. I'm from therealjapan.com. If you're not already a subscriber, improve your life and subscribe immediately. Um, I've got a YouTube channel. Uh, I'm on Periscope, obviously. Twitter, Facebook, YouTube. Oh, what's the other one? Instagram, yeah, that one. Check me out. So, anyway, leave a message. Message me, say, let me know, say hi. Let me know where you're viewing from. I'm, uh, I'm in a place called uh, a Shia city. It's about 15, 20 minutes from Osaka and just less than an hour from Kyoto um, and about 10 minutes from Kobe. So, uh, yeah, so tell me, what have you been up to? Where are you from and what are you doing right now? What time is it of the day? I can't see the comments. Let me see. So I, uh, yeah, I got invited by a friend of mine to go out tonight, and a friend of my friend was, he's, uh, he's actually a guide, he does uh, really cool guides to uh, the live house scene, which is, you know, like underground gigs basically here in Japan, in particular in Osaka, and uh, Airbnb promote his uh, evenings, his, his experiences, and wanted a few people to come out and have an official photographer come along and, um, you know, sort of just kind of capture the evening, the experience in the moment, which is what we did. The photographer's a really good guy, actually. Um, I'm not going to 
I embarrass him by saying his name incorrectly. I've had a few beverages. Um, but yeah, I checked out his photography before the evening. He's got a website and it's really good, actually. Um, what I'll probably do is I'll probably do some sort of blog post about this evening. Actually, Sakai, I'd never been there before. Um, if you're a regular periscoper, you might know a guy, might know a guy called Keizo. Uh, he scopes a lot and he's from Sakai City, I think. Um, so uh, check him out. His stuff's good. And uh, yeah, um, Sakai is a really interesting place, actually. I've been coming to Japan for 20 years and it's, and I know this area reasonably well. Oh, warning, battery power low. Um, but I'd never been to Sakai, so it was my first time. So, uh, it was really good actually. And it, it I'll tell you what, it, it really, I'm from the UK, I'm from England, and uh, I know London really well. I go to gigs there all the time, been going to gigs there for decades. And it reminded me of a sort of up and coming area in the sort of outer reaches of London. Um, but without any, without any of the pretense or bullshit. So, um, yeah, keep your eye on Sakai, suburb of Osaka. Um, there's loads and loads of live houses, um, gig venues in Osaka, and I've been to lots of those. I know a lot of musicians. Um, actually, if you check out my blog on therealjapan.com, there's a guy called Miles Wood, who's an English guy, but splits his time between the UK and Japan like I do. And uh, he's based heavily out of Tokyo, and he knows the Tokyo live house scene like few foreigners do. And he wrote a, a blog article for me, which is kind of like the ultimate guide to live houses in Tokyo. Um, go and check it out on the website, therealjapan.com if you're inter interested and uh yeah i was thinking i i might i really ought to do a companion piece um about the live house scene in osaka because osaka is just such a great city it's so buzzing and you know the kind of youth culture there is fantastic and it's less contrived than tokyo less corporatized almost it's really genuine and um if you take that out to the fringes, to like Sakai, um, it's there that it's really kind of raw and honest. So if you like your live music, definitely check out the live houses in Tokyo, but make sure you get to see some of the live houses in Osaka, and then maybe even get out as far as Sakai City, because that's, um, I say city, I think, I don't know if it's a city, it's probably just a suburb. But Sakai, S-A-K-A-I. I can see I've got a, a couple of viewers here, but nobody's leaving a message. So, my name's Rob. Hello, nice to meet you. Leave a comment. Let me know who you are. It's, um, I don't do these things because I'm some sort of freaky weirdo. I do it to interact with people who are interested in the real Japan. So talk to me, say hello, let me know where you're from. Still no comments. Or maybe you've commented and I just can't see because I can't handle the tech after so many beverages at one o'clock in the morning. So yeah, I'm, uh, I'm in a sheer city just heading home. It's... It's not too cold, actually. I thought it was going to be colder. Just up here on the right, uh, you won't you won't be able to see it, but I'll mention it anyway. I'm a big cat fan. There's a couple of cats in an apartment here, and they've got a balcony. And the cats sit outside on the balcony, one in particular. He's out there all hours, all weathers. And he's quite possibly there now. You won't be able to see me, it'd be too dark. But um, I always make a point of saying hello. I had a cat called Salvador, named after the artist Salvador Dali. 
That's, that's the apartment. Yeah, and it's way too dark for you to see anything, even for me. Um, yeah, I had a cat called Salvador, named after Salvador Dali, because when we, when we got him when he was small, he had these huge whiskers, like Salvador Dali, and he was just bonkers. So the name just seemed appropriate. Um, we had him for 16 years, but sadly he died um, about a month ago. And uh, in fact, I, uh, I wasn't due to be here now because I was supposed to be staying at home to sort of look after Salvador. Um, and my wife was going to come on her own. Okay, I've got 5% battery power now. This is likely to cut off before I get back, so apologies for any abrupt on her own. And I was going to look after Salvador, but sadly he did make it, and uh, he died last month. Uh, which meant, in a kind of bittersweet kind of way, I was able to actually come to Japan. Uh yeah, for those who aren't regular viewers, I um, split my time between Japan and uh, yeah, we're here a few times a year or a couple of times, ranging for a few months. This time we're only here for three weeks. We haven't spent many Christmases in the UK in the last ooh, 10 years, really. So we're just here for three weeks until middle of December. Um, and then the UK, and uh, I'll be back before long in the new year. Oh dear. So, uh, well, thanks to you quiet viewers. Um, I, uh, I respect you for not commenting if that's not what you wish to do. Uh, but please do check out my blog. Um, subscribe if you want weekly, my weekly Japan travel bulletin, where I give you tips, advice, discounts off travel in Japan. And uh, yeah, maybe we can become long term friends in the future. I'll just do a little look back there before I sign off. Ooh, good exercise. Huh? I don't know what time it is. I'm 15 in the morning. Thanks for watching. I'll see you again. Bye-bye.